We've added 75 aircraft to the order today, Brian. That's a total cost of nearly 8 billion additional dollars we've got to find and pay to Boeing over the next uh, five years of these deliveries. Uh, but it's a great signal, I think, from Boeing and from Ryanair in our confidence in the recovery of uh, air travel in Europe in the next five years. The vaccines are coming in the first quarter of next year. And I think from an Irish dimension, it's imperative we get some more aircraft uh, into Dublin, into Cork, into Shannon. You know, we've got to get the Ireland's traffic and tourism moving again. Uh, we're calling on the government to roll out the vaccines quickly in the first quarter. And then we need incentives at the uh, main airports to get us to get to, to get the traffic to recover. We, go, we can recover our traffic quickly next year, but only in the back of much lower prices. So this plane, the 737 MAX, of course, has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons in recent years. Are you confident of this plane's safety? And do you think your passengers will be nervous about flying on these planes? I, these are the most audited, most uh, regulated aircraft in history. I think uh, you know, the FAA over here, EASA, the European Safety Agencies, have come out very strongly supportive of the aircraft. The, uh, the redesigns that they've done, uh, the, 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 the additional safety measures that have been put in place. Our pilots have flown the aircraft, they've flown the simulators. We're very confident in the safety of these aircraft. We know our customers are going to like flying on them. Uh, the interiors are fantastic. There are eight more seats, but more legroom. And lower prices, I think, as well, is going to encourage more and more people to fly. Uh, we're calling on the government to roll out the vaccines quickly in the first quarter. And then we need incentives at the uh, main airports to get us to get to, to get the traffic to recover. We, go, we can recover our traffic quickly next year, but only in the back of much lower prices. So this plane, the 737 MAX, of course, has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons in recent years. Are you confident of this plane's safety? And do you think your passengers will be nervous about flying on these planes? I, these are the most audited, most uh, regulated aircraft in history. I think uh, you know, the FAA over here, EASA, the European Safety Agencies, have come out very strongly supportive of the aircraft. The, uh, the redesigns that they've done, uh, the, 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 the additional safety measures that have been put in place. Our pilots have flown the aircraft, they've flown the simulators. We're very confident in the safety of these aircraft. We know our customers are going to like flying on them. Uh, the interiors are fantastic. There are eight more seats, but more legroom. And lower prices, I think, as well, is going to encourage more and more people to fly. Looking back now on 2020 and the Irish government's handling of the COVID-19 crisis, how do you assess it? Was it an overreaction? Did they not do enough? How do you think they did? I, look, I think everybody was dealing with, you know, an unprecedented set of circumstances in the early spring. You know, we locked down early. Uh, they, did, they managed it well. I think the payroll support schemes, I think, you know, Pascal Donoghue and the, uh, uh, the Department of Finance deserve a lot of credit. Uh, they moved quickly. I mean, I'd be much more critical, though, of a, the, in the, the second phase. I think we have, pan, you know, NEFIT have been overly conservative. We should have opened up more. Um, but numbers were going up. People were dying. People right. were getting sick. That's true. Numbers have been going up, but the, you know, the death rates haven't been rising. And, you know, we've had a bizarre restriction on air travel, which really has only applied in Ireland since July of this year. We've been locked up tighter than North Korea. Now, you know, but everybody makes mistakes during these pandemics. And I think, you know, you know, somebody will do the analysis of this eventually looking backwards. I think today is about looking forward. Here we have an Irish company investing huge sums of money in new aircraft. We're going to look forward into 2021, 2020, 2022 with optimism. We know the vaccines are coming. We know the travel and tourism is going to recover. The question now for Ireland is how fast can we recover in Ireland? And that's going to need government support at Cork, Shannon and, uh, at, at, at Dublin airports so that we can invest these aircraft, put some of these aircraft in Dublin. Otherwise, they'll finish up in the UK or Spain or Italy. And I want to see them first in Ireland. Right now, the Brexit negotiations are really reaching crunch time. What are you looking out for? Do you think a deal can be done? I think it's inevitable that a deal will get done at the end of the day. It's not going to be much of a deal. It'll be a kind of a bare bones trade agreement. Thankfully, I think it, you know, it's not going to uh, eliminate, it's not going to alter uh, air travel or low fare air travel between the UK and the EU. There may be some restrictions on ownership of UK airlines. It may have some implications for the ownership of BA or Aer Lingus or EasyJet, but Ryanair as a European airline will be free to fly to and from the UK, uh, as will all of the airlines within the Ryanair group. And again, then we're, our confidence is such that we're ordering more aircraft from Boeing so that we can uh, fire up that growth and, uh, if anything, accelerate that growth in the next couple of years. There are huge opportunities around Europe. We've seen Thomas Cook go bust, FlyBE has gone bust, other airlines have cut back capacity. Somebody needs to order more aircraft so that we can actually take up that capacity, and that's going to be Ryanair. Just finally, now you flew over here 
today to the U.S., not on a Ryanair flight. Are we ever going to see a day where you'll have transatlantic Ryanair planes? I doubt it. I mean, I think, you know, transatlantic is very much a specialised industry. It's not our business. You know, we have very modest ambitions in Ryanair. We want to grow to carry 200 million passengers a year across Europe in the next five years. And we want to make it easy and affordable for our customers to return to flying, whether they're visiting friends and families, whether they're doing business or they're just going on leisure. We want to get everybody back flying and flying Ryanair.